Hey guys, welcome back. This feels like the first sit down and talk about fashion video I've done in a long, long time. And actually I'm really, really excited about it. I have literally just finished up filming all of my different little cutaways and showing you lots of different ways to wear blazers. I'm sure you guys are familiar with the fact that I am a huge lover of tailoring and especially blazers. If you are brand new, you're soon gonna realize that blazers and fitted trousers are sort of my thing. I'm a huge fan of how they make me feel, how much confidence they can inspire in you whenever you just throw on a perfectly fitted blazer, which is why it's like my most favorite outerwear piece. So I thought we'd do a bit of a Sunday styling video and I would put together a few different ways. I think there might be about 10 or so ways in this video to style up the perfect blazer. I've got five blazers in total, this being one of them, but I have a number of other ones that I wanna show you just to style with we have the perfect camel Balmain blazer in a gorgeous long line so sophisticated and really simple to wear with pretty much everything that you will own in your wardrobe so I'm going to show you how I would style it for kind of every day I'm also going to show you how to style up a more wool lightweight very easily drapeable blazer like this one this is a sort of blazer that could be styled up or dressed down a little bit more if you want to wear it with something a bit more casual but the texture of this is what makes it so unique and really Really special. Obviously we've got this black blazer, a very easy black blazer with satin lapels, a slight difference in the tones. Of course I couldn't not throw in a white or a cream blazer and this is my current favourite at the moment. Thrown in a few different ways to wear this to style it more casually or something a bit more day wear, something where you'd wear it maybe to meetings or out and about. And then I had to throw in some colour and I do have quite a lot of colourful suits but I wanted to show you this one in the baby blue because this is going to be a colour of the season. I think they're calling it Dutch blue but this is the kind of vibe of that colour and I think that while so many people might shy away from colour actually they can pull it off so much more than they probably realise. So I want to show you a really simple way of making a blue blazer work with a wardrobe you most definitely already own. So five different blazer looks. I've also styled a few different accessories and different ways to wear each one into this video. So you're not just getting five looks, so you're probably getting around 10 to 12-ish looks in here. Of course, I will leave everything that I wear down below in order of outfit, just in case you like a particular piece. And if this is the first time you're ever, ever seeing my channel and my face, it would be amazing if you hit the subscribe button so you can come back for my other videos I make two a week. It would be amazing to have you. So please do hit subscribe before you leave the video. I really hope you enjoy this guys and I really hope that it's useful. So let's get on with the outfits. Okay, we're gonna get the show on the road with look number one. This is my most recent blazer purchase. It's beige, it's from Balmain, as you can probably tell with all of the very distinguishable Balmain detailing. But it's a longer line blazer, it is Double breasted, so flattering. Balmain always make me feel so amazing in their clothes. They're so structured, they're so powerful, but also so feminine. The price tag on these obviously is a lot more. However, the quality is so substantially better than the majority of blazers that I own otherwise. And um, there's something about the walls that they use, the cottons, it's beautifully made. The extra details that go into these, like the buttons on the cuffs, the padded shoulders, pockets, there's just so many lovely details that make this such a fantastic purchase. So for this look, I've worn it with my usual kind of uniform outfit, a roll neck, some easy tight fitting trousers and some black boots. We are still in the kind of wintry season, so my black boots are well and truly being used at the moment. So these are a pair of black leggings that I got from Max Mara, really lovely and fitted, they're really flattering. I've got a little bit of stretch, so they're quite comfortable. These have become a wardrobe staple for me personally. It's something that I can throw on with most things, whether that is literally a t-shirt or it's a more baggy style jumper. They just fit over these so nicely, whether you want to tuck in or you want to kind of layer over the top. So I've had loads, loads of wear out of these. I've then thrown on my Jimmy Choo boots because this looks so badass and I think they're really flattering and quite sexy. And then I've also gone for my Bottega Veneta clutch because I'm trying to use this so, so much more for this year. I've already used it quite a bit actually, but I love the shape. It's such a cool neutral color. It goes so well with this overall color palette. Underneath, I just have a really woolly and soft Holland Cooper knit on roll neck 
as as you know I love my roll necks but they always look so flattering and I find roll necks with a blazer is just the most perfect layering piece because it just feels so put together but sometimes I find there's something about having no flesh on show that can just give this really powerful vibe you know it's almost like you don't have to show any flesh to feel absolutely amazing don't get me wrong i love a mini dress as much as everyone else but sometimes it's nice just to be completely covered and just kind of let your makeup and your overall outfit do all the talking for you so this is my first blazer look of course for all of these looks i'll be leaving each one down below with every single piece and of course let me know in the comments which are your fave out of the next Hi. Okay, second look. This is sophisticated AF. This is very much for a lady who's going to the office, going for a job interview. I just want to look super sophisticated and put together. The skirt suit, I don't think we see enough these days. Any kind of suit I'm into, obviously, but it's kind of nice to bring back the skirt suit. And I know that at the moment it is wintry. Put a pair of tights on with it, or don't. I prefer the latter. <laughs> I don't mind getting my legs out. I don't mind my legs getting cold as long as the rest of me is quite warm. So I wanted to put this in here as a different option of how you could wear this particular blazer, which I am just so, so happy that I managed to snap up. I'll see if I can find a link to it because it did sell out pretty fast. It's a Max Mara cashmere wool blazer, but because it is cashmere, it has this absolutely beautiful drape to it. It doesn't feel too heavy. It just drapes so lightly over the body and just feels so sophisticated. It's a really elegant blazer. It's the kind of thing as well that you could throw on with so many different types of outfits. So I'm going to show you a few ways that I could wear it. But this one at first I wanted to show you was just this more skirt suit sophisticated vibe if this is the kind of thing you want to go for because this is the matching Max Mara skirt so I feel like I love them together and then the blouse the blouse is one that I picked up last season and it's such a versatile piece of my wardrobe um, first of all it's white so a white blouse white shirt pretty much goes with everything this extra embroidery and detailing and lace work that's been added all the way down the front of this blouse just adds that extra little bit of detailing to catch the eye and I love that it's got these three quarter sleeves that are a little bit puffy so it's got so much shape to it I wore this so much last season and I will be rocking it so much more this coming season because I absolutely love it and if it's in any of the colours I think I might buy some more colours because it's just the best. It's a little difficult to throw on with tight sleeve blazers but you can make it work if you so want to. I can make this work. Yeah so I'll actually leave the collar a little bit open for a little bit more shape and then I thought I would add my new Bulgari bag, if you saw my latest vlog on Thursday, you'll have seen this bag. It's the most beautiful thing ever. Hello, beautiful bag. <laughs> so this goes so perfectly with the colours. And of course, I've thrown on some nude heels just to continue the neutral vibe. And these are my Dior sleep bags. Very sophisticated indeed. I absolutely love it, to be honest. I think it's so chic. But let me show you a few other ways that you could also wear this style. Okay, second look, completely different way of wearing it. A little bit more casual, still retaining a bit of a tailoring feature with the long white trousers with the turn-ups. This paper bag waist just kind of cinches your entire midriff in, so it just feels really flattering. I love wearing these. Plus they're super high-waisted, they're all the way up here, so I like to kind of accentuate that section of me because it's my smallest section. Sorry about this t-shirt, it's a tiny bit creased. But tucking it in always seems to help. It's a beige nude t-shirt. And I remember I bought this t-shirt for the purpose of wearing it with a beige blazer. I like that difference in styling different types of beiges together if you get the right warmth or cool tones in each one. So a really simple undergarment, but this t-shirt is such a lovely high quality that it just looks gorgeous on. It's a really smooth high quality t-shirt and you can see that from, I wonder if I'm going to be able to show you. It's a really fantastic quality. I don't know if that's coming through on camera, but it's the softest loveliest t-shirt. I'll link it down below of course and I, they do loads of different colours. I'll most definitely be getting a white one, that's for sure. Probably a black one too, but they work so well with outfits like this. So over the top, this just pulls all the neutral tones together, but with this kind of outfit it's nice just to leave the blazer open and a bit more loose. In fact, what size did I buy this in? 
I bought this in a size four and it still has a bit of size to it and it feel it doesn't feel too tight which i really really like but overall i love this outfit i love the last one but this one is a little bit more wearable for every day every occasion if you go into meetings if you go into work super cool kind of outfit this kind of thing i would wear for like girls night girls drinks out and also if i was on like a city break holiday this is a perfect kind of date night outfit for me it's the kind of thing i like to wear where you feel quite done up because of the tailoring element but it's not too much but the only pop of real color i've added is a little valentino in the dark green and the gold and I've just applied some more gold accessories up with it to kind of pull the warmer tones out of the camel. So yeah, so this is just another way you can do it. You could also just wear this with a pair of black trousers, a white tee and this and it would also look awesome. I don't think you can go wrong with this style of camel. It's a really sophisticated colour and it does go with most skin tones. So for me, a camel blazer has actually become a bit of a staple and I've been so excited about pulling this back out of my wardrobe for this season. Okay, third blazer, another Balmain, this time in a much more punchy colour. Also, a colour of the season actually, apparently this Dutch blue is going to be pretty big for the spring-summer season. But whilst you might see this sort of blazer hanging on a rack and think, probably won't get much wear out of that, it's quite a statement colour, it's not a dark navy. Um, you know, it is a bit more of a pastel mid blue. Actually I've found that I've worn this quite a lot and it looks so good with blue jeans that I found myself kind of pairing it together quite often. An easy white tee and blue jeans is an outfit you can't really go wrong with, especially I find if you stick it with a pair of heels. I mean these are a real colour pop, you don't need to go this bright. Nude shoes, blue even, even a black will look so cool. It's a nice stiletto, something something quite flattering on the foot but I just wanted to add a little bit more colour into this outfit and I'm a little bit obsessed with yellow for the past few seasons actually past few years so these heels are a big favourite of mine currently they make me feel amazing so I wanted to throw them on with this look it's a Saint Laurent tee that I bought a few years back now I've kept it in my collection because it just looks really cool with pretty much everything I style it with and I've thrown the blazer over top it makes a great shape if you want to button it up but I find I just like this one Left open if it's a much more casual style like this. These jeans are one of my absolute favourite pairs, mainly due to the shape and the crop. The crop is fantastic to wear with stilettos. These are a pair of current Elliott jeans. I have quite a lot of different pairs of current Elliott jeans. They just fit me really, really nice. I need to do it with my button, I forget. But I remember I wore these jeans out on my hen party night out, which was one of the best nights of my entire life. So I have a real affinity with these jeans now. The reason I wore these with a pair of heels is because of the crop and the shape and I feel really great in them and that's why I wore them for my hen party night out. I'd probably change the heels into a pair of boots or trainers if I was going to go walking um, around a shopping centre for example. If I was going to a work meeting and wanted to impress someone in kind of more fashionable sense, this is again something I'd wear because I feel great in it. I feel I feel stylish, there's a bit of colour in there. I have paired this with my little Chanel for extra bit of blue in here and a touch more texture. And again, the little gold chain. These are silver buttons, so quite often I will wear this blazer with silver, but sod it. Dress it up the way you want to. I don't think we need to match our metals as much these days. Make it your own, style it the way you like to. I just feel so killer in this. It does also come with the matching trousers, but if you just wanted to buy the one piece and wear it up a few different ways, then this is probably my favourite style. Seeing as I promised, this is one of my favourite suits and I thought I should probably show you in full. This is the full Balmain blazer suit with the matching trousers. I remember I wore this to an event and I met loads of you. It was a Clarence event for the gorgeous Clarence summer holiday bag that we launched this year. And I wore this suit and I felt so cool. And I, in fact, for that though, I really slipped back my hair into like a really cute low bun. If I can find this still, I'll link it. If I can't, I can find something similar from Balmain or otherwise, then I'll link it for you too. Anytime I can get this out my wardrobe for any kind of occasion, then I will. Okay, fourth blazer. I've gone really, cosy casual for this one. This incorporates two pieces of very woolly cashmere items. Flat shoes. 2019 was the first year I really embraced flat shoes. So I do have quite a few more now to my name, I must admit, including a few pairs of trainers. 
little Dior sneakers with the Dior monogramming all over and I have also matched that in the bag. It's a look I've been wearing quite often without even realising that they both match. I've gone kind of very carefree, chilled look with this whole thing. All really centering around this blazer. I got this blazer from Rasil. I got it in sale at Bista Village. This is probably my most complimented blazer and I think it's because of the fit um, and this very oversized feel of it. It's also quite a masculine cut. The shaping to this and the way it's cut around the back. It's not cut the way that Bellman is, for example, how it's cut into this little shape to accentuate the female hip shape. It's just this straight body, quite masculine androgynous fit. It doesn't drape quite the same as something quite lightweight because it does have a thickness to it and I think that's what I quite like about it. It's just a great piece of throw over anything and just pull it together a little bit more and give it a bit more sophistication. Which is why I thought I'd pair it with something that's very, very casual, which are, I often quite like to have mine up my legs a little bit. These, in fact, let me show you a bit more underneath this blazer because I love this look. It's very loungy, but the fabrics are just divine. I'm wearing my new spectacles for this one. It's great how much I can actually see the screen and what I'm recording from here. Um, yeah, this is a brand new Regina Pio sweat, just like my yellow one, but this time in a natural colour because I wore my yellow one so much, I thought that getting this colour would just be the dream. But both of these are sustainable brands, both are Nittaporte. Nittaporte now have this area on their website for sustainable brands, we can find everything together. And both of these are made in a sustainable way. These are from a brand called 90%, they do loads of basic kind of wear, um, more loungy wear vibes and jumpers, full length boiler suits, all in lovely jersey cottons and all made sustainably. This, I absolutely love this outfit, it's just so cool and casual, you could wear it around your house for the day or you could equally just take this out going shopping just for something quite chilled, cosy, casual but still looks kind of cool and put together if you put it with the right accessories. Talking about as soon as I realised that I hadn't pulled out my chain, put on my chain a little bit there too. Um, this is also a sustainable brand, Laura Lombardi. I absolutely love her jewellery. I've got a few pieces from her. Anyway, so then just throwing on a blazer like this, just to pull it all together and take away that extremely casual feel to an outfit like this is quite a nice way of doing it. If you find that the trousers are a bit too baggy for you and you want a bit more shape, then just swap these out for a pair of jeans just as easily and midi tuck the front of this. Um, that would work just as well, it would look gorgeous. Um, but I want to show a really casual look, how you can bring a blazer onto a very, very casual style and still look very, very cool. So yeah, this is more of a neutral, casual way to wear a blazer. Just wanted to show you this blazer, like I said, with the pair of jeans. Just if you did want to wear it with something that you're most likely to wear a lot of the time, which most people wear jeans a lot of the time. So just to show you how you can wear something a little bit more structured and masculine, a little less of a softer drape, and it still look really quite cool, classic, elegant, but just something a little bit more stylish about the cut. Okay, final blazer style, and I've gone all black everything, because I know a few of you guys probably love to wear black, all black, so I've gone full, full black on black on black for this look, just to show you how you can throw a blazer into your existing kind of black wardrobe if you are someone who likes a lot of black. Personally, I love black in its place, whether that's for, obviously, black tie, a little black mini dress, a black suit, or a black jumpsuit I love. Otherwise, I don't find myself wearing that much black. Even my black t-shirts have kind of been retired. I'm much more into the white and lights and neutrals. But this is probably my most worn blazer. I adore this style of blazer. I've got a few blazers from this company actually, and I've also got a few of their matching trousers. However, for this, I've thrown on, again, the black jegging, um, like stirrup leggings that I have. Again, they're just such lovely quality and they go with pretty much everything. So they're great for this. I've styled them with some tall ankle boots. These are my Dior suede ankle boots that I told you I'd get loads of wear out of and I really, really have. I wear these quite a lot to get here and there around London if I'm going for my meetings or between appointments. And then underneath, I've gone a little bit different for this look and I've styled it with a bodysuit. Da -da! Sexy bodysuit. This is a lace bodysuit from a brand called Alex. I've got a few of their bodysuits. They just create very well made styles. My favourite thing about bodysuits is that if you are tucking them in, which I find I do most of the time, I tuck most of my tops into my trousers, 
body suits, make sure there's no riding up, there's no creasing. You know, like earlier I was constantly tucking in my t-shirt because it was riding up and riding up as soon as I moved. Whereas this stays taut and tight and flattering all the time. So my bodysuit collection is about the same size as my t-shirt collection at this point. But this lace bodysuit you could wear as more of an evening piece. It's fine to wear with this in the day, I think. I think if you're like this it's more evening, it depends how confident you are. Me personally I'd wear this more as an evening piece or I'd wear it as a layering piece where I'm not going to be getting out my arms and I'd wear it like this all day. So these kind of bodysuits come in handy if you do have a blazer collection like I do. You can kind of build up your bodysuit collection so that you've got something to match every day. Throwing it on with the Celine, one of my oldest luxury bag buys and still one of my favourites because it's a classic. It's a classic bag. Um, and then I've got a full outfit. I would gladly wear this around London all day, meetings, um, into the office. I always say the same occasions every time. I'm like, date night, girls night. But you get the drift. It's kind of one of those very easy to wear outfits. But I'm just going to style it up now with a few other options underneath just to show you a few different alternatives. It doesn't get much easier than wearing a hoodie with a black blazer. I mean, Alex himself is a big fan of hoodies under anything. We've probably all got some form of hooded jumper in our wardrobes. This one just happens to be a bit more embellished. I got this from the Jean-Baptiste Valley H&M collection that came out. Looks great though with this style. Again, keeping everything very black and simple on the bottoms and there's a little bit of shiny excitement on top, but it's it's going to be really warm, especially this time of year, if you are wearing jackets and blazers with a coat on top, then at least you've got instead the blazer on top of something warm. So it's quite a nice layering piece, something like this. Again, any colour will go with black. So this could be a red jumper, a blue jumper, a green jumper. Any colour you want will go with this black blazer. But if you keep it really sleek on the legs and fitted, you can let the blazer and the more chunky jumper over the top do more of the talking. So it still feels quite flattering ring and quite feminine because of you showing off your leg shape. So this could be like a really oversized jumper for example, but if you keep the legs really tight and fitted then you still show that little bit of shape underneath. This is sort of a similar vibe in that you've got something a bit more chunky underneath, but this is a lovely white smooth jumper. This is Victor and Rolf. It was actually a little Christmas present they sent me that says no on it. If you've seen all the Victor and Rolf designs this season. They've got some really cool statements. And this one is created in little gems all over, so it's a really gorgeous piece. But again, with the blazer, it just gives it a little bit of a different feel. Again, wearing something like this underneath. It still feels quite cosy um, and relaxed, but with the crew neck, if you tuck it in, it just has a really different feel again. And if you are wearing something more cream with the black or white, so you've got a bit of a monochrome vibe, you can also go with a similar bag. And this one incorporates the white and the gold so it matches with my necklace. I'm losing light by the minute. But final styling option, I promise. Another, this time, bodysuit. This one being a little bit more wearable for every single day. Not got any cleavage showing, it's high neck, so it feels a little bit more appropriate for an everyday occasion. But with a blazer like this, just looks so fab. Um, I was also going to show you this with the wool camel blazer that again the two tones of beige work so beautifully together but styled with black just looks so chic because it's almost got a golden a golden like lustrous thread running through this so it just feels a little bit more expensive and put together for some reason it makes my boobs look huge when I think it's because it's so tightly fitted my boobs also look really massive in this but I'm not gonna complain but yeah again styled with all black I could have thrown on the jeans but you've seen those a few times and you know how you could change this up with some jeans but yeah keeping it a bit more monochrome and throwing in a different type of bodysuit again in roll neck roll necks and blazers to me are like peas and carrots yeah that is the final styling option so i might as well wrap up this video here guys i hope you've enjoyed this i feel like this is the first styling video of 2020 and also of my brand new house i'm sorry they've been few and far between i've not been doing much like this in a long time but hopefully you enjoyed it please do let me know in the comments the more you let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it and if you want to see more of this sort of thing the more I'll do it. I don't really know unless you kind of comment it and let me know. So give it a like, give it a comment, and I can get a bit of an inclination if you want to see more of this sort of thing again. So let me know. Otherwise, just thank you so much for being here, and I will see you in my next one. Mwah!